guys welcome back to another video and today i'll be taking a look at the latest racing bundle from moza this is the r5 direct drive racing simulator aimed at the mid-range sim racing market competing directly with the fanatec gtdd pro and in some respects both the thrustmaster and logitech wheels as price wise this complete package consisting of the r5 direct drive wheelbase steering wheel and pedals comes in at 599 dollars which is a real bargain especially if you're planning on upgrading from a thrustmaster or logitech wheel and had a limited budget but is it worth it so i'll take you through the main features of each of the components tell you what it feels like together with how it performs and i'll cover any pros and cons but before i begin let me know what you're currently playing racing games with a controller or a wheel and if you're new to the channel hope you can support me by subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified of my next release in the box you get the ES racing wheel which comes in a dustproof fabric bag, a power adapter, data cable where each side has an RJ45 connector, a USB type B to USB type A cable, a power cable with a kettle connector, some screws and an allen key, another bag with some more screws with a wrench and an allen key, a desktop mount, the SRP light racing pedals and the R5 direct drive wheelbase. Taking a closer look at the R5 wheelbase, it's made from aviation grade aluminium alloy, comes in a matte black finish with Mozza Racing written on the side and Mozza written at the top near the quick release system. This wheelbase is nice and compact and smaller than the R9 wheelbase. It provides five newton meters of torque, which is the same as Fanatec's GTDD Pro wheelbase, but even with its smaller size, it still incorporates their intelligent temperature control system. So you have no fans on the wheelbase, keeping it very quiet. On the back, you have the connection ports for the pedals, dash, USB B port, where the other end connects to your PC, DC power input, and a power button, which I would have preferred at the front of the wheelbase for ease of access, but nevertheless, this isn't a big deal. Onto the wheel, this is the ES Racing wheel. It has a smooth leather stitch cover all the way round, which feels pretty good. It has a D-shaped racing inspired design with the bottom flattened for increased driver leg clearance. In the middle, you have an aluminium alloy frame, which consists of 22 configurable keys and a color rev counter at the top, which supports 10 LEDs. The wheel is 11 inches in diameter, which is a couple of inches smaller than their CS wheel. On the back, it has the quick release mechanism, with a black collar and Mozza written across it. And to the sides, you have the aluminium paddle shifters, which are black coated and have a nice ergonomic feel with a clicky sound to them. Have a listen to this. Moving on to the SRP light pedals, which consists of the brake and accelerator. They're already attached to the pedal mounting plate, so there's no additional assembly required. It's made from high strength steel and finished in matte black. The pedals can be easily adjusted and brought closer together. And even the pedal plates has the Mozza branding on it, which can be adjusted too. Both the pedals have anti-slip rubber pads to stop it slipping on the surface. They're both spring loaded and work off the distance traveled. So for the brake, it's not like the brake on a real car, which is what a load cell kit would give you that works off the pressure you put on it. The accelerator has a cable which connects to the brake and once connected, there's zero flex, but they should have left a little bit of slack on the cable. Looking at the brake, you have two connection points, one to connect to the wheelbase and the other to connect the clutch. The packaging comes with a desktop mounting bracket, allowing you to mount it directly onto a desk. It's made from high strength steel and has a 15 degree angle, which is specifically designed for the R5 wheelbase. And it provides an alternative to buying a wheel stand or SIM cockpit, which works pretty well in attaching to a desktop. Now I've got my wheelbase and pedals attached to my SIM cockpit. This is from Track Racer. It's the TR120. The monitor I'm using is the LG Ultra Gear 48 GQ900. It's pretty easy to attach the wheelbase as there's four mounting holes underneath it and the same with the pedals as they can be attached directly to the pedal plate mounting point on the TR120. And attaching the steering wheel is simple with the excellent quick release mechanism found on all of Mozza's wheels, allowing you to swap out your wheels in a matter of seconds. Mozza have their own software to customize settings. This is called Mozza Pit House, which you can download from their website. The app lets you customize settings for each of the individual devices you have connected and the user interface is simple to navigate around. On the navigation bar, you have your main menu and then underneath you have your individual devices, which gives you more granular setting controls. So for example, on the wheelbase, you can change the amount of force feedback by adjusting the settings here or changing the frequency depending on how much of the track you want to feel in the game. On the advanced page, 
you have some more settings like the hands-off protection and on the force feedback effect equalizer you can change the frequency depending on how much of the force feedback you want to feel and how much frequency you want to feel less on on the steering wheel page you can make changes to the rotation of the wheel calibrate it and center it for the pedals you can customize each of the pedals by adjusting the stroke on the accelerator and the brake individually there's also a mobile app available on both android and apple allowing you to connect to the wheelbase via Bluetooth, giving you the same amount of customization, which is really impressive and so convenient. Now let's test this out and see how well it performs. For such a small wheelbase, the racing experience is really impressive, giving an acceptable amount of feedback. And even after playing on it for a few hours, it doesn't feel warm and there isn't any loss of performance or any worry of overheating. It feels really smooth, refined, gives a good amount of detail, from the bumps, curbs, and the track itself. The torque levels are good at five Newton meters, and you can feel the force feedback accurately from the track when you're going around corners, hitting the curb, or even driving on different surfaces. Moving on to the wheel, it has a good feel to it. The paddle shifters aren't too bad either. And I do like the clicky sound coming from them when shifting, giving quite a satisfying feeling when shifting up and down through the gears. The leather on the wheel has a comfortable feel to it, but there's no indentation behind the wheel where your fingers would go, like on their more premium wheels, but that's not an issue. The controls on the wheel are easy to reach, and there's enough customization on the app to tailor your settings, and the buttons can be individually assigned in the game. The pedals feel good underfoot and don't have any flex on them, but the brake pedal doesn't feel realistic as it just has a smooth motion like the accelerator. Mozza really should have added some sort of dampener to give it a more realistic feel. It does work, but obviously it's not like a real car as it works off the distance traveled and not the pressure applied. The accelerator feels smooth and retracts back well. And overall, the experience does feel good and performance wise, it's not bad, especially considering the price. My main criticism is a brake as it really needs a dampener for additional resistance in making the braking feel progressive. The wheelbase is only compatible with a PC, but Mozo are working on console compatibility in the background at the moment. But there is a company called Brook who sell a product called the Resolution 2, which is a converter that provides console support on the wheelbases, but that only works on Mozo's R9, R16 and R21, but not on the R5. I did test with both my PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, but it just didn't work. But hopefully Brook will provide an update to fix that in the future. So in summary, I'm really impressed with the Mozart R5 Direct Drive Racing Simulator. Built to a good standard, as with all of Mozart's products I've reviewed, and coming in at the mid-range spectrum of the sim racing market, competing directly with Fanatec's Gran Turismo DD Pro Bundle, with a competitive price of $599, whereas the Fanatec GT DD Pro Bundle comes in at $699. $95, with them both providing 5 newton meters of torque and very similar levels of performance. Moz has left enough room for upgrades, so you could add on a clutch pedal as there's a connection point on the brake for this, replace the brake with a load cell kit, upgrade the wheel, or even get a digital dash to provide telemetry data. So by buying this bundle, you won't be limited in any way other than the power from the wheelbase, which is more than sufficient if you're starting your sim racing journey or even upgrading from a Logitech or Thrustmaster wheel. Negatives wise, with Mozza's wheelbases being so new to the market, some games don't automatically work natively. So there's some initial fiddling around to get the wheel to work, which can be annoying at times. And onto the brake, which was really disappointing to the point I can say even the brake on the budget Logitech pedals was better, as it just felt like an accelerator pedal. It's a shame Mozza doesn't have any console support yet, but nevertheless, Mozza's done pretty well with this complete direct drive wheel bundle to get you started with everything you need. So there you have it. You come to the end of another video and I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below, including purchasing links. And if you're still here, drop a Mozza R5 in the comments as it's nice to see who's made it to the end of my video. You can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, and Twitter. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to be notified of my next release. Thanks for viewing and see you in the next one.